All right, I'm back. So I've got my little booklet with the, the script. I've already noticed a couple things just from glancing at the first uh, little bit here. Red. Two, dash five. Let me note here. I'm gonna move this note to later. I know this is the first time I see the house, but I actually just think that it fits better in uh, somewhere else. Here, probably there we go. do it like that yeah so we go back to our second note here I just don't want my second note to be Several panels or one single panel, depending on what you prefer. Cool. That's a good start. Come back one or two here.
I should just change the distance. All the taller trees have been cleared in front of the walls. here but no actual sound since the paranoia can't hear peeks around the wall into the garden. Shot. Hyperanor? No. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need that there because I put the reference above. This isn't actually in the wrong spot. I should have it where I originally did. Describe as the doorway to the kitchen until we get inside the kitchen, and now it's a kitchen. Melted onto, I think. Furniture is in splinters. Chunks of stone. Leave in the air. Skeleton reaches up from the spot inside the wall. Strong feeling of rot. Yeah, 
two page spread. Maybe a POV shot? I don't think that'd be a POV shot. Yeah, but like, what did it, what did it look like? Yeah, something like that. It'll do, it'll do for now. Good, good. Side is all good. Yeah, we're gonna leave it. Uh, yeah. We should just double check, make sure I did that same formatting style here.
Yeah. Good. Good. Make a lot of progress here. Perfect. This should be extreme. SFX Siren Song.
All right. I think we're done. All right, so we'll do this as a paranoid black. Cool. Done. First issue is done. Very exciting. Super exciting. It's sweet, actually. Whew. Some good work. I'm going to compile this real quick. Cool. We're good on that. Back to the big face here. So yeah, uh, that's going to be it for me for today. Uh, pretty happy with the way this has gone. I think I worked on Fearless Iron probably, what, three weeks now? The new version, three weeks. And we already got a first issue done. Uh, that's really good. Uh, part, I mean, a lot of that is due to the fact that I had previously written out the sort of prose aspects, so I could I could literally just take details and have it pre-written. I didn't have to think about a ton of stuff all the time. So there is that. I also think I'm getting faster at drafting and all that in general. So there's improvement there, which is good. And it's partly why I stream, right? I want that improvement. I want to work on myself uh, as well as help you guys out. Anything else I wanted to say? Um, no, no, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to add the reference images to the end of the PDF. So those will be up there when I put, uh, when I put like upload the script. I will take a break next week. I will not be doing Oh, next week's February, right. Cool. So yeah, I will not be doing Fear the Siren next week. I'll do something different, uh, fun and interesting. But I will be streaming two times next week, both Sunday and Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern uh, because it's February. And I said I would do that. So yeah, uh, I will do that. There'll be two streams next week. Yeah, I don't know. Um, as always, uh, you can visit my website down below. Uh, for VODs, uh, expanded lesson notes, uh, articles, and all kinds of resources. Uh, you can follow me on all my contact info is there as well. If you want to get in touch with me, if you have feedback, if you have questions, uh, feel free to let me know. Um, yeah. Uh, do I got anything else? Do I got anything else? Nope, I think that's it. Uh, that'll be for me for today. I'm really happy with how today went, gang. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy the way the last few weeks have gone. I know they haven't necessarily been the most interesting thing, but we've been getting a lot of things done, which is the important part. Because uh, there's nothing worse than being stuck on something uninteresting. But the fact that we're like accomplishing things where, you know, I now have a first issue of, of a comic. I could start looking for an artist for this. You know what I mean? And I might be doing that. I haven't really decided yet, though. Uh, oh, and I will mention this as well. Uh, just for general reference, and I can talk about this in more detail at another point. But I was doing some research the other day, and I've talked about this a few times before. But... Uh, the reason I don't work on my, I have like, I separate my accidental origin projects and my personal projects into two separate categories. I do not work on my personal project on stream. Uh, that's primarily due to the fact that publishing rights uh, through video and stories that are available online become very complicated. I was doing some reading the other day uh, because I've, uh, if you've been following the last little while, 
I've been working on some short stories and I'm going to be sending them off to different markets very, very soon. Uh, off stream, of course. And there's a lot of things where they, a lot of markets want first, uh, first, like first rights, first publishing rights to stories, things that are original, things that are not reprints. By giving stuff, of, like having stuff available on Accidental Origin, they are no longer eligible to be, to have first right. They become reprints. So it just l vastly limits your market for the stories that I work on on here, which is why I'm not really doing like commercial stories here. Um, it's different if you're self-publishing. It's totally different if you're self-publishing. That's a whole other ball game because you own the rights in self-publishing, uh, whereas you sign a contract for like short stories and all that that you send to magazines. So yeah, that's the reason I don't do that. However, comics are a whole different thing. Uh, no one owns the script. They just own the final product. So I can have the script up on my website and still publish the final comic as well as the vast majority of publishing right now in comics is indie press stuff. So a lot of that, like the, almost all of that is creator owned anyway. So again, you don't run into those weird first publishing right issues, um, like IP properties and the way all that works. Uh, and I don't, I don't claim to understand how all that works. It's a very complicated series of interconnectedness that doesn't make the most sense to me all the time. But yeah, um, very happy with how today went. Glad we're getting things done. I'll do something different next week. I think that's it. I think that's everything. Uh, yeah, all right. So uh, without further ado, my name is Brendan. This is Action Out Origin, your weekly writing web show. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I will see you all soon. Bye.